We're looking at homework from section 4.2. This is question number three. The question says match n equals 4, n equals 8, n equals 12 with the correct graph. Each histogram shown below represents part of a binomial distribution. Each distribution has the same probability of success p, but different numbers of trials n. So for us, in a binomial probability histogram, the last bar relates to the value of n. So as the value of n gets larger, the last bar moves farther to the right on the histogram. So when n equals 4, the last bar will be where x equals 4 on the histogram. So if we look at the graphs that we have, the histogram that has its last bar where x equals 4 is histogram B. So histogram B has four trials. When n is equal to 8, the last bar will be where x equals 8 on the histograms. So looking at the histograms that we have, that fits graph C. So graph C has 8 trials. And then when n is equal to 12, the last bar will be where x equals 12 on the histogram, which is on histogram A. So as we look at the graphs as n gets larger, they get more and more like a bell curve. And so as the n increases, the distributions become more symmetric. And that's the answer to the last part. And that's your answer.